welcome to the 2023 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Right now we are here in the Palm City Yachts area where we have our blue water boats. We have a 23 foot boat, we have a 28 foot boat which we are currently on and we have their brand new 25 foot boat. That walkthrough is going to be a whole separate video so if you guys are interested in seeing that we'll link it at the end of the video for you. But right now we're going to be taking a look at their beautiful 28 foot center console they have here. This boat is absolutely mind boggling. This is a fisherman's dream and let me tell you guys the storage capabilities on this 28 foot boat are like no other I've ever seen on this size of the center console. on the bow of the boat and what better to start with with their anchor locker we're going to come on here take a look we have a huge anchor locker in here store your anchor nice and easy now one thing is really neat that blue water puts on their boats are these special looking cleats you actually push in a button and they pop right up just like that and you put them down snap it into place a lot of times you'll see them you can kind of pull them up and they'll stay but this one actually has a button for it to pop up and snap back down which i thought was pretty cool now up here in the bow of the boat, you might notice there's not really a lot of seats. We don't have seats along the sides here, although it is probably an option if you ask Blue Water to put in some seats. I'm sure they can accommodate you with that. But there are not a lot of seats in this boat right now because this is a fishing center console. Now one thing you might be able to take a look at right over there is we're actually on a step up right now. That step right there is allowing for ample storage, which these hatches I'm standing on top of are insane. And you can see I'm a little higher up. So if you take a look at the, the gunnel, it's about a little bit higher than my knee right now, which is actually feels a little weird to be this high up. But if we take a walk back to the back of the stern of the boat, you can see we're gonna have this step right here. Now, some might like the step, some might be afraid of it because of tripping, but I can tell you, just being on this boat for a couple minutes, it does feel pretty natural. This to step up hasn't really been that big of a deal, but let me show you guys what you gain by having this step. Now, this hatch right here, it's gonna be one of the largest hatches I've ever seen, not even just on a boat, but especially a 28 foot boat. Just to show you guys, I mean, <laughs> look how deep it is. We are almost at our waist over here. I mean, we could easily lay in here. We could fit three more of me probably in this box. No problem, which is crazy. Let me take you guys in this fish box with me. Who can say hi to Senior Salty here? But <laughs> you can also see that we have some fishing rod storage here. So you could put some fishing rods in here for some dry storage. Maybe you guys have a long ride out. It's going to be very splashy. Oh, we're getting the door closed on us now. <laughs> Maybe you have a long ride out and maybe there's going to be lots of salt water spray that you don't want getting your $500 reels all sprayed with salt. Whatever the case is, you got some nice dry rod storage in here. We're going to hop out before Senior Salty Locks is in here for the day. Then we got a couple other hatches that we're going to show up here. We'll pull this one up for you. We got a smaller hatch but still does the same thing. Nice little fish box we got over here. And right here in the middle, we're going to have a quite, quite uh deep box there again we're gonna go ahead and stand this one also for you just to show you how deep this goes i mean we can fit this one too but we're not gonna get locked in here oh and there's actually the holes over here from where the fishing rods stuck through the other way they continue on this way and we also have an identical hatch to this one that we have here on the port side of the boat as well we have some great upholstery quality on this blue water 28 foot center console and that includes our forward facing seating here very comfortable and you're gonna get a little bonus if that storage wasn't enough for you you got some more under the seat storage here this is the perfect storage right here for all your lunch stuff maybe you want to put your sandwiches and your water bottles and all that kind of stuff in here perfect for that kind of stuff when you're out on a good day of fishing we are now at the helm station of this 28 foot blue water. You could tell we have a beautiful, beautiful clean setup here with some recessed electronics, which I absolutely love. Looks like you'd be able to put maybe a plate or something like that over here to protect your electronics, keep them out of the weather and keep them away from theft and thieves and all that kind of bad stuff. 
We have our switches over here for all of your bilge pumps, lights, all that kind of stuff, nice and easy. We have four cup holders over here, which is not something you see too often. Usually it's only two, but nice four cup holders. That way you don't got to fight over them. Beautiful 12 inch garments. We have a nice half uh, windshield here. It's kind of cut down the middle, get a little breeze going through the top. Doesn't get so hot in here. Up top on the hard top, we're going to have a little Cuddy over here with our Garmin radio controls. And it looks like we're gonna have our Fusion um, stereo controls as well. We're gonna head on into the cabin here on the blue water boat. Hop on in as we always do. It's got a small little step. Not a huge cabin, I will admit. For this 28 foot, we're gonna take you on in. You do have a head on this boat. Nice little head, not used. Not used to thankfully, um, but like you see, not a ton of room, but a nice cabin is not the main focus feature of this boat. Taking a look at our captain's chairs or our helm seating here, you can see we have a little bit of a cross between the bench style seating that I love if you guys watch all of our uh, boat walkthrough videos and a captain style where you do get some armrest over here. You do get these little folding areas for your butt <laughs> but you could also put them up to lean against which is actually quite comfortable so i think you're getting the both the best of both worlds when it comes to the helm chairs on this boat taking a look at the back of the helm seat we're going to have a beautiful tackle station here with lots of options so we're going to go ahead go through it all here we got some great stuff this right here is going to be able to hold some of your extra leader material that you have they come on those spools you're going to pop them right on there this little compartment right here would be perfect for sinkers in my opinion any sinkers rigs or anything that you're actively using can stay nice secure and close right there we also have a couple rod holders here we got one two three four rod holders two cup holders on the end little grab bars so you hold on for your uh your guest out here that might be going for a wild ride and back we got two cabinets that are going to fold out here with a little just a little cutty space to throw anything maybe some scissors some pliers and then you're going to have some tackle boxes that are going to slide out easily accessible and lots and lots of storage capability if you haven't been able to tell so far the kind of the motto with this boat it's going to be storage 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 down here we have a cooler on a rack system which will be able to just pull the pin and slide it right on out just like that open it up and then access everything we need. We're gonna have some more seating options over here, which is gonna be forward facing stern seats in the back of the boat here. This is some great upholstery quality on this boat. I can tell you that much. These seats are very comfortable and they are also made for fishing ability cause they have these little legs down here that are gonna fold up and down. So you can have it up for people to use. You can place it down. Very similar to the seating setup we actually have on our own 23 foot center console, our Edgewater. You're also going to have a pin system over here so you can go ahead and remove this seat completely if you don't want it on the boat. A lot of times we don't have this actually seat on our boat because we're afraid of hooks and stuff getting inside the upholstery there. And it looks like this uh, backrest here is also going to be able to pull right out. That way you can access your live wells which we'll show in just one second back here a lot easier. Looks like we're going to have a little panel over here with a couple more switches open this on up this is a nice little feature just some pumps and lights and stuff like that fresh water salt water washdowns now on the port and starboard side of the boat we're going to have right underneath the side gunnels here more of our traditional style like boat brush boat pole net kind of stuff where you put the gaff put right on here it can slide through there we're also going to have some more more storage capabilities on this boat you can see right here nice storage hatch on the floor right here in the middle we're gonna have a live well actually, which is in addition to one more live well that we have behind me. Always like a good in-floor live well. And having multiple live wells like that on a boat is really convenient if you're catching multiple kinds of baits. Like you go out and catch a bunch of pilchards, you catch a bunch of different mullet. Or in one case recently we went out fishing, we had a bunch of small finger mullet, but then we also had a bunch of large mullet for the 100 pound tarpon that were blowing up everywhere. So maybe keeping those separate very convenient feature we're going to have this same hatch also as well on the starboard side of the boat now under here we're going to have the bilge access which is going to be a lot easier to get to if we took the seat off but we're not going to go ahead and do that today so i'll stick you guys on in take a look at the bilge access nice and clean nice neat organized bilge area 
like I always say, you could judge a boat based on its bilge area because that's the part, frankly, at this boat shows that most of the people aren't going ahead to look at. They might look it over, but if the boat manufacturer has a nice, neat, clean bilge area, you know you're getting a good boat. Now it is a little hard to see in the stern of the boat over here with our uh, backrest on, but we're gonna have our blue water boats ingrained um, live wall right here, which is really, really nice looking. A nice big old live wall. So like I said, this is in addition to the other live wall that you have on the floor right over there. So you got this one and then right next to it, you're actually gonna have like a little, I like to call it like a bait station where you have a little uh, shower probably if you wanna rinse yourself off after the sandbar day there or you wanna rinse your hands off in the sink after cutting up some bait right here. This is a little flay board. You can also remove this and cut bait anywhere on the boat. But it is, sits nicely recessed right in here. That way you can keep your bait in here, keep everything clean. Now on the back of this 28 foot blue water center console, we're gonna have a nice big old swim platform, which is going to be the home of your beautiful 300 horsepower Suzuki engines. Now that is gonna wrap it up for the walkthrough of this beautiful 28 foot blue water center console. Now what better way to wrap up the video than tell you guys about the price. Come on over to the helm. We will check out what this 28 foot blue water boat could be yours for. And that is going to be a mere $285,000. I always get comments on all my boat walkthrough videos. I'm gonna have to reiterate this for every boat that we walk around over here. The boat market is not what it used to be five years ago. The boats definitely cost more money than they used to. I could tell you $285,000 for a 28 foot center console nowadays is a very good price, especially when you're getting the build quality of blue water boats. Now this boat isn't gonna be for everyone. Some people aren't gonna like the step. Some people are gonna look for more family friendly accommodations like more U-shaped seating in the front, all that kind of stuff. But for all those fishermen out there that are looking for a nice, good, dependable, good riding boat that you know is gonna take you offshore and give you no problems, look no further than the 28 foot blue water center console here. Now that's gonna wrap it up for the walkthrough video here. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead, hit that like, button and definitely consider subscribing down below we're gonna have tons and tons of content coming out here for the fort lauderdale boat show 2023 and all the boat shows to come here in the near future make sure you guys subscribe so you can see that coming up make sure you guys check out this video on the left side of the screen over here it's going to be another boat walkthrough video if you guys really like this 28 foot fishing blue water center console here i think you guys are going to like that video as well thank you guys so much for watching again and until my next video remember to keep living salty